For years, the U.S. housing market experienced a boom fueled by economic growth, low mortgage rates, and high demand. But now, many are asking, with home prices soaring so high, isn't a crash inevitable? Let's dive into the current state of the housing market, break down the data, and address the burning question, why haven't home prices fallen yet? And the common question is, aren't these prices unsustainable? People often express concerns like, Home prices have skyrocketed. Surely they can't keep going up, right? Homes are unaffordable, so prices must eventually fall. While this seems like logical reasoning, the data doesn't fully support it, at least not yet. Home sales have dropped sharply over the last two years, largely due to rising interest rates, but prices themselves have not experienced the steep drop we were expecting. Inventory is slowly building, yet the expected price correction hasn't materialized. Last week, the median price for homes under contract increased to almost $390,000, up from 1.6% from the week before. For two weeks in a row, we've seen price appreciation stay in the 3 to 5% range compared to last year. Even if sales volume remains low, it's worth noting that prices are holding firm, possibly in response to slightly cheaper mortgages. The median price of active listings sits at $445,000, barely moving from recent weeks, while newly listed homes are priced at $410,000, a 2.9% increase year over year. So what's holding prices steady? One term that explains this phenomenon is downside stickiness. Even as fewer homes are selling and inventory builds up, prices haven't budged significantly. Less desirable properties are being pulled from the market and price cuts have stabilized. This dynamic is keeping home prices from falling dramatically at least for now. Growing inventory, is it a sign of the market shift? Well, we are seeing a slow but steady increase in housing inventory, but you already knew this because you watched my video last week about the eight states with higher than average inventory levels. Last week alone, 10,000 additional homes hit the market, bringing the total to 725,000 unsold single family homes. That's about 37% more homes on the market compared to a year ago. As the fall season approaches, inventory typically peaks before declining toward the end of the year. If this trend continues, we could see the end of the year with about 27% more unsold homes than we had at the close of 2023. While inventory growth is notable, it hasn't triggered a significant downward shift in prices. So what gives? Let's talk about sensible new listings. Could this change the game? In what could signal a return to pre-lockdown norms, we saw 70,000 new single-family home listings last week, a healthy number for September. This is the first time in three years we've seen listing volumes approach normalcy. However, the question remains, are there too many sellers? If sellers begin to outpace buyers significantly, this could create downward pressure on prices. So far, there's no widespread panic selling, but if institutional investors begin to offload their portfolios, we could see more listings flooding the market in the coming months. How about the immediacy of sales signaling a shift in buyer behavior? So during the lockdown, we witnessed the rise of immediate sales, homes being sold within days of hitting the market often through bidding wars. This phenomenon has slowed to a crawl for the most part. Last week only saw 10,000 immediate sales, down 25% compared to the same period last year, which was well after the peak of the buying frenzy. Without the pressure of competitive offers, buyers are more patient, waiting for more favorable conditions as interest rates fluctuate. The urgency we saw in 2021 and 2022 has thankfully faded, and buyers no longer feel compelled to rush into deals that could potentially ruin them. Let's look at pending home sales. Do we see a glimmer of hope? While overall sales volumes remained low compared to pre-pandemic levels, this past week we saw a slight uptick in pending home sales. 62,000 homes went under contract, marking a 4% increase from last year. Although we're still far below the sales numbers of two years ago, and honestly I don't see a return to that anytime soon, this modest rise could indicate that buyers are losing patience and starting to respond to even slightly lower rates. We also see price reductions slowing down. Approximately 40% of active listings have had to reduce their asking price, a slight drop from the week before last. This trend indicates that while some sellers are adjusting expectations, price cuts aren't increasing at the same rate as they were in previous years. Lower mortgage rates may be giving sellers the breathing room they need to avoid drastic price reductions. So what does this all mean? What's next for home prices? While we haven't seen a major price correction yet, 
There are several factors to watch closely. Inventory is growing, new listings are healthy, and immediate sales have slowed. And if we see a surge in sellers, particularly institutional investors, over the coming months, we may start to see a more significant price shift. And feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Is your local market seeing the same trends or are you experiencing something different? Let's keep the conversation going. For now, the housing market remains in a state of downside stickiness, with prices holding steady despite lower sales and growing inventory. Keep an eye on mortgage rates, new listings, and inventory trends as they will be the key indicators of whether home prices will finally start to fall.